Tony Dawes, top civil servant, running a government department. Why did you make the time to get involved with Patchwork? Well, um, I think uh, what Patchwork does with young people is just fantastic work. And in the civil service, we um, are really committed ourselves to transforming our own representation, and in particular to having more people in the civil service from uh, minority ethnic backgrounds. Um, so to work with Patchwork for me was just a real privilege, and I found meeting the young leaders on the programme inspiring and um, incredibly uh, nice way to spend some time. So it was very enjoyable. So inspiring for you, but is Patchwork a kind of recruiting ground as well? Well, I'd like it to be. I'm very glad that some of the Patchwork graduates have joined the civil service, and maybe we'll have some more in future. I would certainly like that. Um, but I think what's great is that uh, you meet young people who are very much thinking on their, on their own individual journeys about where they want to go, what they might be able to be in future. And so there's a whole range of opportunities in public life, whether it's in politics, um, in the wider public sector or in the civil service um, that are open to people. And what do you think is so important about engaging ethnic communities with people right at the top of government? What's the What's the thinking behind that as a mm. catalyst? What's it going to achieve and how mm. long will it take to achieve mm. it? Well, I think um, I would say two things. One is that until you've really got representation at the very top, you can't say that you've uh, achieved what you want to achieve. That matters so much. Uh, it's about leadership and role models all the way up an organisation. But also I think a lot of the time what I try to get across to the patchworkers is that we're just people, whatever the jobs we do, and we experience uh, all the same emotions um, that you experience at any age, in any role, uh, through your working day, through your working week. Sometimes you're quite nervous, sometimes things are quite difficult, and sometimes you feel that wonderful buzz of achievement. And so actually we're all individuals in these jobs and uh, there isn't anything uh, that, that people can't do actually if they put their mind to it um, and really harness their strengths. Is there anything that any patchworkers have said to you that surprised or even shocked you? Um, I don't think surprised or shocked, but I would say inspired, yes. Um, the young woman who spoke this evening um, about her own experience of feeling that she came from so many backgrounds uh, that it was almost hard to know what she was, but actually what she's learned through the programme is that sense that she's bringing that diversity of experience and what a wonderful thing that was. And when she finished by saying we're all patchworkers, I found that very moving and a very generous uh, uh, thing for her to say to the, the whole room. Um, and I will take that away uh, with me from this evening as, as a very inspiring message. And of course, peer pressure very often works, so these patchworkers will be taking the right kind of message back to their communities. I hope so. I hope they will take um, back, certainly from the civil service and from government, that we really are committed to greater diversity and to including way more people from different backgrounds in our workforces, in the way that we engage, in the way that we do our work. We know we've got a lot more to do in that respect. Um, the civil service is a lot more gender balanced than it was when I joined, but that isn't enough. We've still got to reach out to so many more communities. So I hope people have really uh, got that commitment from us. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.